Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say a customary blessing. Blessed are thou Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and your offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed you Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nation. And gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence and enlighten you. May he be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. We have two reads today. Luke 5, 12 through 39. And 20, 27 through 44. Alright, first one. Come on, there we go. While he was in one of the cities, there came a man full of leprosy, and when he saw Yeshua, he fell on his face and hugged and begged him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Yeshua stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priests and make an offering for your cleansing as Moses commanded for the proof to them. But now you mourned the report about him went abroad, and great crowds gathered to hear him and to be healed of their infirmities. But he would withdraw to desolate places and pray. On one of those days, as he was watching Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there, who had come from every village of, Ga of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with them to heal. And behold, some men were bringing on a bed a man who was paralyzed, and they were seeking to bring him in and lay him before Yeshua. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles in the midst before Yeshua. And when he saw their faith, he said, Man, your sins are forgiven. And the scribes and Pharisees began in question, saying, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but Elohim alone? When Yeshua perceived their thoughts, he answered them, Why do you question in your hearts? Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, Rise, pick up your bed and go home. And immediately he rose up before them and picked up what he had been lying on and went home. Glorifying Elohim, and amazement seized them all. And they glorified Elohim and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen extraordinary things today. After this, he went and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, Follow me. I'm leaving, and leave every, and leaving everything, he rose and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his house. And there was a large company of tax collectors and others reclining at the table with him. And the Pharisees and their scribes grumbled at the disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Yeshua answered them, Those who are, who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And they said to him, The disciples of John fast often and offer prayers, and so do the disciples of the Pharisees. But yours eat and drink. And Yeshua said to them, can you make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and they will fast in those days. He also told them a parable. No one who tears a piece from a new garment and puts it on an old garment, if he does, he will tear the new, and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wineskins. And no one after drinking old wine desires new, for he says this old wine is good. There came to him some Sa Sadducees, who were denying that there was a resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, Having a wife but no children, the man must take the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first took a wife and died without children. The second and third took her, and likewise, all seven left no children and died. Afterwards, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had her as a wife. And Yeshua said that on the sons 
of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. For they cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of Elohim, and being sons of the resurrection, but that they are but that the dead are, are raised. Even M Moses showed in a passage about the bush where he called the Lord the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob. Now he has not he is not Elohim of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. Then some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you have spoken well, for they no longer dared to ask him any questions. But he said to them, How can they say that Hamashiach is David's son? For David himself says in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies my footstool. David thus called him Lord, so how is he his son? Blessed art thou, Donai Elohinu, King Universe, who gives the Torah of truth to set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai Giver the Torah, Brukata Donai Elohinu, Malak Alom. Asher Natalinu, Taret Emet, Vaishye, Alom Natal Betaginu, Brukata Donai Natina Torah.